let's talk more on the laws of money and how to attract abundance and create the life that you want. And let's just discuss more about when we up against the wall on financial stability and being afraid to really use the reflective power that's within. And I say being afraid because many are afraid to try new things that they just are not familiar with or, or don't know anything about and they use, they're too preoccupied with old ways of doing things. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment. It's a glorious morning here where I'm at and wherever you're at, I'm gonna say good morning to you because you may be in the evening, but it's good morning for me. You can see the sun just beaming in my studio window here. But what about financial stability in your life? for you and are you aware of the reflective powers that are within you and do you know what the reflective powers really are by the way keep in mind as you're listening to me that in the description area down below here at youtube is an access link down below you might have to click on show more to expand that area open is an access link called create your life and it leads you to a wonderful video on using reflective powers by reflecting your beliefs and your thoughts and what you really want in life to the material world from a subatomic level. I hope that you'll check that out. By the way, as you're listening to me again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. So whatever you believe and think can be projected from a subatomic level with your inner reflective powers into your material world. You know, we might have heard expressions like for example you know the root of all evil is the is the desire of wealth or is the or is or is this is this the uh, the person is incredibly rich or abundant they are crooks you know they're no good or they're just on the other hand we might say they're just fortunate when we're not fortunate and you know we just have all these excuses of why others are richer and why we are poorer not all of us do, but some of us then we go on and say, well, you know, we're not the Rockefellers or things like that. But we, you know, we all have these, uh, these, these things that we say that are filled with negativity that you don't realize that, but that there itself is being reflected to your material world where you're not getting attracting the, the wealth into your life that you need. It is necessary, therefore, initially that we need to let go of old preoccupations and change the way we are thinking about money in order to not be afraid to learn how to attract abundance into our lives. And by the way, read more on this at my blog where I'd written a detailed article on the power of manifestation proving the top things for the best way to live is, the, is to finally answer to how to live happy in life through your own reflective powers. And the link to that detailed article is down below as well here at YouTube. I hope that you access that. It's at my safe and secure website, of course, where my blog is located. But let's, let's go on to say, consider how money has assisted people after natural disasters, so to speak, to restruct their homes and, and their life, rebuild their lives. How numerous individuals, we may say, are being helped every day due to the fact that of hospitals that are just not that are just that are just possible due to the fact that there were that they wouldn't they wouldn't be there if it weren't for the pledges and the donations that went out to build these hospitals. But you know, and on and on and on. I think you get what I'm saying here. But there are literally thousands of avenues, thousands of ways to help individuals acquire financial stability that are of the laws of money and wealth. And I'm speaking of universal laws of money and wealth and how successful people grow. So after reviewing this, go over it a few times each week to remember that money depends on your willingness and readiness to have it and to exchange it for worth. And when I say after reviewing this, because I hope that you review what I'm saying again and let it sink in. Also keep in mind this principle from The Course in Miracles. The Course in Miracles states, Preoccupations with problems set up to be incapable of solution are favorite ego devices for impeding our learning process. Now I'm gonna repeat that again because it's quite lengthy, but keep in mind I've also noted those words down below as well because many of you say you appreciate when I do that. 
The Course in Miracles states, preoccupations with problems set up to be incapable of solution are favored ego devices for impeding our learning process. And for those of you that are aware of my writing and my books and all my other articles, then you know that the ego in all of us is that is has that foundation built of fear and doubt and and, and afraid to move forward in life. That's the ego in us. But there's nothing you should ever feel guilty about or fearful about for having financial stability, just as a person that has, has extended onto others. What I mean is how to, how to manifest money with reflection. Let's touch on that. As you train your mind to alter the thoughts and the perceptions that you think of money, you can plant affirmations can help into your psyche that are positive, which will help you to attract abundance and wealth with the laws of money and wealth working on your side, having you being aligned to that those universal laws with your reflective state of mind. Here are a few examples of exactly what you may use for in your subconscious thinking during affirmations before you go to sleep to where they're working with you at night in the subconscious mind while you're sleeping or perhaps during meditation. I'll just give you a few of them. You could say things like, I bless the world with abundance and wealth because I bless myself. Again, you could say something like, the peace of true abundance is shining in me now and I extend the light I extend the light to the world. And I'll give you one more. Another good affirmation would be, I feel the love of my abundant inner self as I reflect this naturalness to my world. Now, also keep in mind, I've noted those down below as well in the description area because I urge you to jot them down if you feel that you can use them and feel free to alter the words in a way that corresponds with your life situation. But you can make up, like I said, your own affirmations to or change things around as you'd wish. But follow this strategy that I'm trying to uh, get across to you in this, in this video and you'll see that this reflective learning through a reflective state of mind will program you to think in a different way about financial stability, financial freedom, and to increase your awareness of money in a different way than you were taught, perhaps. You may also, what I've known people to do is, you may also place a check written to yourself on your desk where you see it daily to yourself, and this will subliminally begin reflecting what you truly want into and making it manifest in your in the world. For example, I know of someone that wrote themselves a check for a, a million and a half dollars and had it sitting on, on their desk every day to look at. What a great idea. But uh, again, please be thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural beauty that is within you. And that's basically what this video is about. And from there, you will learn without fear to bring abundance into your life. Again, please subscribe to me on YouTube and also engage with me on Twitter and Facebook. Those links are also down below as well in the description area here at YouTube. As always, until next time, God bless.